All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be starting the notification feature again. So make sure you leave down that you have subscribed and that you've turned on notifications to get a shout out in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my videos. Today we got something new as always. And we have that most feared promo. It is one of the best promos I have seen in like a year and a half, guys. This is insane. The card art, the backgrounds, the promos, the live events. It's just sweet, all right? As you guys can see right here, here's all live events. There's three different ones for three different players, and then there's the carousel. So we're gonna go check out some of the sets, and we got some packs open up. And basically, we're just gonna be going over what we can do, what's new, and all that. So one of the best sets you can do is just turn in two gold players to get a most feared gold player. It's gonna save you a lot of time. So we can see what we're gonna get here. We get 79 Robert Kelly. It's actually pretty good. And then if you want to head over to the right, you have a goodie bag pack, which I have not completed yet, but basically it'll give you four gold players. That's a pretty good one to complete. And then you have the three ones right here. And these are going to be the midway monsters for the first one. Basically, you need 20 collectibles to get the gold player. And then you need 25 to get an elite player. And you can trade four elite players up for any one of these. I'm probably going to be going for the Landry out of all of these. This card looks sweet. Got the carousel in the back. As you guys can see, here's his stats. Guys, I'm curious. Gives plus two acceleration to most feared players. So that's pretty good. And then we also have the Nightmare Carousel. So these are going to be the carousel players. Basically the same thing for everywhere else. So really no need to explain it. But I'm going to show you guys the players if you haven't seen them yet. There's going to be a Melvin Ingram, a Le'Veon Bell, and a Kyle. So the Le'Veon Bell is probably going to be the one I'm going to be going for on this one because the Le'Veon Bell and that card art is obviously sweet. So, yeah. And I'm thinking about making a really cool video. No, no YouTubers copy this, all right? This one's still the same, the Dread Zone. But for Dread Zone, I'm going to be going for the performer, Don Terry Poe. I'm going to try to get him to 100 overall so that we can make a sweet video with him because I know he's going to have insane trucking on that QB sneak. So guys, that's pretty much the set. There's also some game plans and stuff, so that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna be opening up some packs to see what these packs contain. We will be opening up bundles and there will be a coin making method coming out later. So we got some midway packs to start it off. Ooh, that's some sweet stuff. It like tosses out candy and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, I don't think we got any elites in here. Alright, so it gave us one gold player and some collectibles. Not very good, but it's still starting off. These were only 30k, so I don't really they aren't they aren't too expensive, so we might as well cop them. 75 right there. Get some more collectibles. So I think we are gonna get a collectible, a gold collectible right here. 46 gold collectibles. Okay, that's really good guys. You guys are gonna want to go open these packs. That's actually 40 damn. Alright, you only get like two from the set, so that's actually pretty insane. As right here, we get two also, so that's pretty sweet. And it only takes 10 of them to get a gold player on this one. This one's a little bit different for the carousel, so. Yeah. We get 78 right there. Let's see what we can get out of the Dread Zone packs. I'm not quite sure what the really the difference is on them, but I know they have different players and just like, I think there's different ways of they, them organizing them. But I think you only need one Dread Zone actual gold collectible to get anything. As we get another one and a 79 both times, not bad. A lot of gold and silver players, but let's go see what we can do in the sets with the players we just got. Can we fill out any of these? We can fill out this one a lot. But I'm only going to do it once just for the sake of your guys' time so we can see what we can get. 77, not bad, not bad. Trade that guy up in later. I'll be coming out with the coin making method on this very soon, but as you guys can see, this one only takes 10, the other ones take 25. So that one's going to be a little bit easier to do. Ooh, what's this one? And this one only takes one and a silver player. That's kind of weird. Huh. So they basically just have different ways of getting them. So there's a 77 right there. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you hit that sub button to see more. And we'll be coming out with a ton more videos really soon. There will be a new video tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next video.